Question 7. Adrenaline is a natural hormone produced in the body and we have a structural formula for it. Okay, adrenaline can be artificially synthesized in the process shown below and well, we've got quite a lot. Okay, so three stages. Um, so we're starting off with benzene ring with a couple of hydroxyls and then we are substituting in at the hydrogen here to attach on this one and then we're adding in another bit at the end and then we're adding another bit well actually no we're changing this double bond to um, a hydroxyl here okay so type of reaction taking place in step one it is a benzene ring it's electrophilic substitution as soon as you see a benzene ring you're seeing it's electrophilic substitution um, you'd get the mark for saying substitution um, but I expect you to say that's electrophilic okay the aromatic product formed in step two contains an amine functional group here we are step two and here's my amine functional group okay uh, state the type of amine formed so this is a primary secondary tertiary kind of question okay so here is my nitrogen um, it has a carbon and a carbon so it has two carbons attached to it so therefore we are going to say secondary Name reagent X used in step three. Okay, here's reagent X. We are changing a carboxylic group to, um, sorry, not a carboxylic group, a carbonyl group, because this is a ketone, into your secondary alcohol. Um, so this is a reduction reaction and, oh, give myself enough space to put it in. Um, I'm expecting you either to give as, as a formula, lithium aluminium hydride, or you say, Lithium aluminium hydride. Okay. Identify the steps in which the product has a carbon chiral centre. Sorry, identify the steps being clear in which the product has a chi carbon chiral centre. Very difficult to say that. Okay, so I'm only looking at the product set, so I'm only looking on these this side of the arrows to be absolutely clear. So what we need for a chiral carbon is a carbon which has four different substituent groups attached to it. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Um, get rid of your benzene ring straight away, they're not any help to you. This carbon here is out because it's got a double bond, so it can't possibly have four. Um, and this one has two hydrogens, so not step one. Um, we're going to do a similar kind of thing here. Yeah, not step two. Uh, step three. Okay, actually, this carbon here. This carbon here is good. It's got an OH, it's got a phenyl group attached, it's got a carbon. CH2 attached here and remember there is a hydrogen down there so step three and only step three. Right adrenaline is used as a treatment for severe allergic reactions a typical dose contains 0.3 centimeters cubed of 500 parts per million adrenaline solution calculate the mass of adrenaline in mix delivered in one dose so okay to start that you need to know um, that parts per million is in milligrams per litre or milligrams per kilogram. This is a liquid, so per litre. So what that means is that you could do, frankly, I'd just do this by proportion. I think it's it's reasonably straightforward by that. If we say that 1,000 centimetres cubed, that's one litre, contains 500 megs, how much does 0.3 have in it? So you do that divided by that times by that would give you 0 0.15 megs. The mark scheme is accepting 0 0.15 or 0 0.2. Okay. Adrenaline can be extracted from the leaves of the Agnimantha plant. The adrenaline extracted can be identified using thin layer chromatography, that's TLC, and you're to complete and label the diagram to show how it would be set up. Right, well for a start we're going to have to put in a line above the solvent. You would do this very neatly with a ruler. I'm slightly more scribbly because of using the online stuffy. Okay, you then need to have a spot, which is going to be your extract, and then you need another spot, I'm just doing a different colour so I can see them, which is going to be your pure. You either label it on there, it says in fact complete and label the diagram, so forget what I just said, you're going to label it on there. Um, so we've got, so this is your start, start line, so this is where you're going to measure from and to the solvent front if you were doing an RF calculation. Okay, this is going to be your extract and that is going to be your pure. And that's just going to be the kind of dried dried dot, dry dot 
um, to get a good dense spot on it. And that's that question. <laughs>